So today what we're going to be doing is completely redoing and overhauling the old How Code Social Network series. That's because that series came out in 2013, as you can see here. It actually came out even earlier than that because this video itself is a remake of the original series and the original series came out in 2012, so that series is almost five years old by now. And because that series has gotten old, it doesn't follow practices that are considered the best by today's standards, so what we want to do is completely remake it to create a brand new social network that's really secure and it uses everything that's considered best practice when creating a website today. Because what I noticed is this is still the most popular series on the How Code YouTube channel, even five years later, so it's important that the videos are actually teaching the correct stuff so that when you're learning it in 2017, you're actually learning practices that are considered the best practices in 2017. This new series is gonna be created with loads of modules. In the last series, you had to follow every single video to be able to complete the series. And you might've only wanted to learn a specific chunk of it, like how to create user accounts, how to follow people, how to send messages, things like that. So in this new series, all of the individual modules, they're all individual modules, and that means that you can learn the specific parts of the series that you wanna learn, rather than having to do the entire thing to be able to learn a tiny chunk of it. So hopefully this is interesting, and there's not much more to say, so let's just get started. So the first thing I wanna go over is the fact that if we look at MediaWiki, which is the software that powers Wikipedia, and WordPress, the software that powers WordPress, you can see this is their index page. It looks nothing like our old index page where we had our PHP code at the top, we had our HTML at the bottom. The way these websites work is when you create a big software project, you wanna split up your design, your logic, and your database into different sections to make it easier to manage. And that's what the software behind these programs do. So whenever we're actually sticking all these modules together, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create our own tiny model view controller framework, but because we're doing tiny modules one piece at a time, we're gonna have our HTML and our PHP on the same pages, and then right at the end, we're gonna section it all off the way it should be. And that makes it easier to learn what we wanna learn in each video. So the first thing we wanna do is download the correct software. I've downloaded a software called Exam because I'm running it on my local computer, but if you want to use DigitalOcean and do it live on a virtual private server, that's even easier. All you have to do is set up a LAMP server on Ubuntu. And so here's my uh, directory, and the first thing we want to do is create our database. And this database is going to hold absolutely everything to do with our social network. So to do that, I have some software here called SQL Pro. This is Mac software. If you have PHP my admin, that'll work as well. And what we want to do is create a new database. We're gonna call it social network. And there's our database created. So the first thing we have to do is create our users table. So to create a table, what we're gonna do is click add. It's gonna be called users. And we're gonna click add. So we have our ID field. We wanna create a field called username. The username is gonna have a type of varchar and it's gonna have a length of 32. 32 is just an arbitrary number. Now we're going to create our password field. It's going to be a varchar and it's going to have a length of 60. That's important because we're going to be using something called bcrypt to hash our passwords and keep them secure. So we're going to hit enter there. And then finally we're going to ask for the user's email. And that's going to be of type text. So you can have more fields if you want, but for the simplicity of the series, we're going to keep it short for the minute. And then if we need to add more, we can add more later. So in this video, we just went over the basic introduction to this series and then we created our table for our users and we added the fields that we need for that table. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of this series. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.